Hi friends, it's Janelle. I've been a sunlighter my whole life and I homeschool my three children. Today I'm gonna to just walk you through how I store my curriculum and kind of where we do school. To start, we start here in the kitchen. I have this really nice kind of outward facing cabinet and this is where I store my school supplies. I actually keep my two levels that I'm doing currently in separate buckets. So this is level F that I'm doing with my daughter. I have my big sunlight binder and then a separate notebook for her notebook pages that she'll do on her own. In addition to that, I have pulled all of the books from our more permanent library, which I'll show you in a minute, which is downstairs. Um, just the individual titles that we're currently working on this week. So we have, you know, poetry, our science books. These are going to last for more than a week. So until I'm ready to replace them, I just keep them all here in this bucket. It fits our Bible and it fits our math books. Everything that we're needing on the weekly basis is here in this bucket. This is, makes it really easy for these kind of table subjects. The table's right here for doing math. Boom, we're ready to go. If I want to take the bucket, we can go sit outside. I can go into my front room. We can sit on the couch. Wherever we're going to do school today, either the bucket or the individual titles can come with me. Having it here on my counter means I can open up my instructor's guide and I can just mark off the assignments. This works really well for me because it's out of sight, but super easy to access. So this here is my long-term storage of books. I have all of my sunlight titles here labeled and organized by level. When I need the books, I just grab whichever one is next and bring that upstairs into my basket. I've been collecting books for a long time and it's really fun to have these books available to reread whenever my kids want. This is, these are our favorite books. They're the ones that we go back to time and time again. The rest of these shelves are just the rest of our book collection, including our summer readers. These are fun books. This is the mother load. In addition to my two spaces where I keep my current levels, I also use the storage cabinet for anything school related. So I have toys and things to keep little hands busy. So I like fidget spinners, some simple mind games, and then some Play-Doh, um, as well as anything we might need. Tape, pens, pencils. This is sort of our command center for where we do school. I hope this video inspires you to create an easy and welcoming space for your homeschool. Let us know about your favorite homeschooling spaces by commenting below or tagging at sunlight in your own homeschooling space YouTube video.